Welcome, Lewis Laurie, and welcome to our interview show. Quick questions. We are very excited to, for you to be joining us today. Hello. It's a pleasure to be here joining you today. Well, let's dive straight in. Our first question is what inspired the story of The Giver? Well, it was actually inspired by my father. He was very old and his memories were fading. And when I went to visit him every now and then, it came to me that he was losing more and more memories that to me were so important. At the same time, he was so calm and content because he had lost all his bad memories. So I began to wonder, what would happen if we lived in a dystopian land that is basically perfect but manipulates the human memory? But is it really that perfect? Well, we will see in the book. Very interesting. Now, what are the pros and cons of having these strict rules in The Giver? Well, that's a very good question. I guess you could say the pros of having these strict rules could be they provide the people of the community protection against having to make hard decisions, such as what professional job to choose because the elders choose a job for them when they turn 12. Another pro could be not having to experience war and conflict in the world or community. In this community, they try to have sameness. There are lots of cons of having sameness though. An example could be preci precision of language. They use the precision of language to stop people from lying and make them use precise language. Another con of saying this is if you do not fit in, you are released, which means you are killed by a lethal injection. An example of this could be if there are twins born, they will kill the smaller one since it's too confusing to have two identical people in that society. The last con I will say it's probably the fact that they have to take pills every day from the start of adolescence to when they die. These pills suppress sexual desires and sense of citizens' emotions. Well answered. Our next question is, what does the novel teach us about life and ourselves? Well, I like to think the novel teaches us that life is not complete without both the bad and good experiences. I hope it also teaches us that memory is so, so important. It is displayed in the book that without the ups and down experiences, life is just plain. We learn from bad experiences in life even though we don't enjoy them the most. Life is a ride full of learning and good and bad experiences. Well, thank you so much, Lewis for answering all our questions today. Well, thank you so much for having me today. It was an experience I thoroughly enjoyed. Well, that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in next week as we will be interviewing Mr. Donald Trump himself on how to become a pro golfer. <laughs>